Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets. In today's video, we'll take a look at the top 10 ETFs to invest in for 2023. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. Despite the current market slump, now is a smart time to strengthen your investment portfolio. Stock prices are down significantly over the past year, providing the perfect opportunity to load up on quality investments at a steep discount. While the right investments for you will depend on your risk tolerance and overall investing preferences, there are some very good exchange-traded funds ETFs, you may want to stock up on in 2023. The stock market was a rough ride in 2022, and the volatility will pass, and over the long term, the market will likely see positive average returns. By investing now, you can take advantage of that rebound. If you're looking to make some moves to play the change in fortunes on Wall Street, the following 10 exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, offer tactical ways to position for profits move into 2023. Let's review our top 10 best ETFs to invest in for 2023. Number 10. iShares MSCI Turkey ETF, ticker, TUR. Turkey has had a rough few years. After a failed coup in 2016, Western sanctions and steep inflation sparked a currency and sovereign debt crisis in the country, just in time for the pandemic to make things even worse. But at long last, new policies are starting to stabilize the nation, and the GDP is projected to grow by 3% in 2022. Admittedly, there are a lot of risks here, as this emerging market is still in the fragile stages of recovery. But this Turkey-focused ETF has been on a tier lately, with six-month returns of more than 50% and a surge of about 25% in the last 30 days alone. That hints that investors are optimistic as we close out the year. Number 9. Crane Shares CSI China Internet ETF, ticker, KWEB. This Crane Shares ETF was doubly shunned this year as a risk off environment drove folks out of both emerging markets and growth oriented tech stocks. However, a more favorable economic backdrop lately seems to be supporting KWEB, as shares have soared more than 36% over November, thanks to big rebounds in components like Tencent Holdings Limited, Alibaba Group Holding Limited, and JD.com Incorporated. As with the prior overseas ETF, there's no guarantee that the recent rally will last. But Wall Street is giving this top China fund another chance. Number 8. Vant X Semiconductor ETF, ticker, SMH. Only semiconductor manufacturers are included in this $6 billion tech fund, including Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Limited, NVIDIA Corporation, and Qualcomm Incorporated, among others. Supply chain bottlenecks as well as pricing pressures and weak demand have weighed on this subsector in 2022, but since the market bottomed in October, we've seen a recovery and renewed optimism. At the end of November, SMH was up more than 31% from its October low and hopes that the semiconductor industry has brighter days ahead and could continue to lift this ETF across December. Number 7. SPDR Euro Stocks 50 ETF, ticker, FEZ. This roughly $1.5 billion developed market fund invests in 50 well-known European stocks to make a portfolio that is as diversified as the US Dow Jones Industrial Average. These include Dutch semiconductor company ASML Holding NV, French luxury goods giant LVMH, Moet Hennessy, Louis Vuitton SE and UK chemicals giant Lin PLC among others. Europe has been hit hard by the war in Ukraine and the resulting spike in energy prices. But consumers and businesses have slowly learned how to adapt, and predictions of a milder winter should help the region get back on its feet and plot a better course in 2023. Number 6. Global X Copper Miners ETF, ticker, COPX. Another megatrend of the last several months has been inflation, which has driven up the costs of raw materials. But, while the price of some energy and agricultural goods has gone up this year, the price of the useful metal copper has gone down sharply because industrial demand has gone down. That has changed in the last few months, however, and copper miners like Freeport MC Mo Ran Incorporated are up strongly since their October lows. As a result, COPX has jumped 20% throughout November and is looking strong as we enter the new year. Number 5. Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF, ticker, VIG. A mammoth dividend stock fund with about $70 billion in assets under management. VIG is the go-to option for many investors who are interested in keeping a foothold in the stock market but who want to take a bit more of a conservative approach. Top holdings are bulletproof blue-chip companies like Microsoft Corporation, JP Morgan and Chase Company and Johnson & Johnson. Some of these stocks have had short-term troubles at some point, but they always come out on the other side with gains for their investors in the long run. 
If you are worried the recent rally may ultimately end in tears, then consider VIG as a good way to place stocks without getting burned as badly should the market decline in December. Number 4. iShares Russell 2000 Growth ETF, ticker, IWO. Closing out our list is an aggressive US-focused ETF that is benchmarked to the Russell 2000 index of small cap stocks, and then it screens out roughly half of those stocks to create a focused list of about 1,100 junior companies with growth-oriented characteristics. This includes companies like Shockwave Medical Incorporated, which makes devices for the heart, and Texas Roadhouse Incorporated, a fast-growing restaurant chain. IWO ended November about 23% down on the year even after some recent momentum, but those who think the bear market is over may want to consider a tactical bet on smaller, hungry stocks via IWO as we enter 2023. Number 3. Schwab Large Cap Growth ETF, ticker, SCHG. The Schwab Large Cap Growth ETF was established in 2009, and it contains 246 stocks. Around half of the fund is made up of tech stocks, but it also includes stocks from other industries, such as consumer discretionary and healthcare. Most of the time, growth ETFs are riskier than broad market ETFs like the S&P 500 ETF, but they can also give you much higher returns. They're designed to beat the market, meaning you're more likely to see above average earnings with this type of ETF. The Schwab Large Cap Growth ETF for instance, has generated an average return of nearly 14% annually since its launch in 2009. If you were to invest $200 per month while earning a 14% average annual return, you'd have more than $850,000 after 30 years. Keep in mind that growth ETFs do tend to experience more short-term volatility than other funds, and there are no guarantees that you'll see this type of growth over decades. But if you're willing to take the risk, the potential rewards could be lucrative. Number 2. Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF, ticker, VIG. Dividend ETFs are a little different from other funds in that they actually pay you to own them. Some companies pay a portion of their profits back to shareholders each quarter or year, which is called a dividend. The goal of the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF is to track the S&P US Dividend Growers Index, which is made up of stocks whose dividend payments have gone up for at least 10 years in a row. While its returns are slightly lower than the other funds on this list, earning an average return of around 9% per year since its inception in 2006, the dividend payments can help you build a source of passive income. If you keep investing, you might be able to create a passive income stream that pays you hundreds or more per month. One interesting fact about this ETF too, is that it doesn't include stocks with the highest dividend yields. On the surface, that may seem like a negative but it could lead to more growth over time because a stock with an already high dividend yield may be unsustainable. With this ETF, it's more likely you'll see consistent dividend increases in the future. That in turn, could help increase your passive income payments over the long run. As we head into the new year, now is the time to start thinking about adding new investments to your portfolio. While your investments will depend on your personal preferences and risk tolerance, these ETFs could be smart buys in 2023. Number 1. Vanguard Russell 1000 Growth ETF, ticker, VONG. The Vanguard Russell 1000 Growth ETF includes 513 stocks with the potential for above average growth. Close to half, 42% of the fund is in tech stocks and its three largest holdings include Apple, Microsoft, and Amazon. There are advantages and disadvantages to investing in a growth ETF. The downside is that they tend to see more short-term volatility than broad market funds, such as an S&P 500 ETF. Case in point, this ETF is down more than 26% this year, compared to the S&P 517%. However, growth ETFs also tend to see higher long-term returns, on average. This ETF is up nearly 349% since its inception in 2010, while the S&P 500 has only seen gains of around 247% in that time. ETFs provide diversified exposure to an index, sector, or trend at a very reasonable cost. These investment vehicles have become commonplace, mostly among passive investors. The cost and diversification advantages ETFs provide are certainly worthwhile. Even the most impressive investors of all time, including Warren Buffett, have touted the benefits of such funds. Low-cost diversification is hard to get, and these funds make investing a lot easier for those who want to avoid watching the markets closely. As we head into the new year, now is the time to start thinking about adding new investments to your portfolio. While your investments will depend on your personal preferences and risk tolerance, these ETFs could be smart buys in 2023. 
This concludes our list of the top 10 best ETFs to invest in for 2023. As always, do your due diligence and research before buying any stocks or ETFs. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates on the best stocks to buy and cutting edge investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your investments.